Hey guys, it's Xpilot here, and today I just want to show you how to, uh, in this quick tutorial, how to make a start doc command for Mac. Um, so basically, what you'll need, to, well, this is what it does if you don't know. Here's a start doc command, Minecraft server jar. It basically just starts your server for you. Um, yeah, if you don't know what it is. Um, so here's basically how to make one. Um, I can actually delete that. Again, <laughs> um, just delete this there, show you that I'm not cheating. So, the first application that you need to do is not screen flow, it's text edit. You open text edit and just copy this stuff into here. This stuff will be in the description below, which you can copy and a lot, yada yada yada. And I'll give you stuff for bucket servers and. Yeah, you just need to paste this stuff into whatever kind, like what server you'd like. You can close that. You can call it um, start dot command and use plain text. Make sure you're using plain text. There. Now you have your start dot command. You can go into your server file. I have multiple servers. That's why I have such a big thing <laughs> big thing that's what she said and um, what you can do just to make it easier to find is just put it in red or whatever color you prefer then you'll need to open up terminal here um, and you'll need to give in ch mod space a plus x space and then you will need to drag your start dot command into here and then you will hit enter and that should be done. Then your start command might not open with terminal, but terminal should be the default. If it isn't with terminal, just go here, look up terminal. If you don't have terminal, well, I can't really help you because terminal comes with every single Mac. And if you delete the terminal, then you must be um, not the smartest person. Um, so then you'll just uh, press on terminal, always open with open. Uh, don't manage. Don't worry, that's random. Just press open. And for me, it's giving the, me these um, warning messages. That's only because I have it on offline mode, which basically enables people. Like, it doesn't run security checks to authenticate the usernames and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's it. I will. In the description below, I will post codes for a um, Tekkit server, a Bucket server, and a normal server. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe, hit the like, and have a good day.